James. And would you put that second half turnaround down to? Um, look, we we uh, we didn't do what you need to do at this level. Uh, it's kind of non-negotiable. We we just weren't competitive. You know, we didn't win our jewels. We weren't didn't we lacked intensity. We kind of you know didn't deliver the things you need to at this level as a as a you know as the basics of the game and paid a price for it. Where do you think that comes from? Was there an element of complacency? Not really sure, but um, wherever it comes from, it doesn't really matter. It's uh, irrelevant. It's unacceptable. At the end of the day, you've got to... Like I said, you, you, you kind of understand that, um, you know, you're not going to win every game, but there are manners in which you lose games, and uh, you know, that's the first time since I've been here anyway that we've lost the game in that manner, and uh, like I said, unacceptable. What can you do about it going forward? There's a lot I can do about it. That's why I'm in the role. If I couldn't do anything about it, I'd get somebody else to sit here. Jack. And how much has improved defensively this season before today? Does it hurt even more to see the season All of it. Uh, all of it's disappointing. Like I said, I, I you know. There are certain elements of this team that have been pretty consistent throughout my tenure, and that is one. Yeah, you know, we, we even in our sort of not so good days, we've always kind of fought and been competitive. I think that's been a sort of non-negotiable. And um, yeah, you know, like I said, today's the first day I actually felt like we didn't deliver in those areas. So whether that's defensively, whether that's with the ball, but like I said it's you know it's sports as much about competition as it is anything else. And if you don't compete and you allow the opponent to, um, you know, overrun you in that manner, then, you know, you're not going to get anything out of it. Did you have any sense at half-time this was about to happen? Well, like I said, I haven't seen it before and I certainly didn't feel like that's the way the game was going to go. You understand that at 2-0, obviously, they're going to come out and be... You know, um, fairly aggressive in their approach, but that's not the first time we've faced that, and we've usually dealt with it pretty well. Um, but it just, um, yeah, obviously um, today we 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 failed to do the things we needed to do. George, and was there a temptation to make something before the second goal? It felt like right, we were kind of building ahead of steam. Yeah, I could have, but um, all these things, uh, you know, are, are totally irrelevant to me you know, substitutions and all those kind of things. If you're not competitive, it doesn't matter what you do, you're not going to get rewards. You don't deserve to win. So we didn't deserve on our second half performance, irrespective of subs or anything else, to get something out of the game. And I think if you do get something out of the game, then you're falsely rewarded, and I don't want to get falsely rewarded. And I know you're not going to want to make excuses, but felt like you missed Sander and Charleston took two battles. Nah, nah, nah. Got nothing to do with it. Absolutely zero to do with it. Um, if we were missing them, then we wouldn't have played like we did in the first half. Or we have the last you know, few games, so it's it's got nothing to do with it. Like I said, there's 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 a certain level of competitiveness you need to bring in every contest, irrespective of the level. And we didn't do that in the second 45, and rightly so. We uh, we got punished for it. Mark. Andrew, I was going to ask the chance that Brennan had at the end of the first half. Look, potentially, mate, I mean, I think we we probably should have put the game to bed in the first half. We certainly had the dominance and the chances, but if that just masked what I saw in the second half, that doesn't sort of... I mean, I, I think that certain things will always reveal themselves over the course of time, and uh, I've got to deal with what happened in the second half. Uh, that's much more important to me than, you know... The fact that in the first half we were that dominant, and we probably, you know, we, we should have had the game done and dusted by then. Have you learned something new about your team? Oh, I don't know if I learned something new, but I, I, I certainly um, experienced something new, which, you know, uh, with all these things, um, straight after a game, you're emotional about it. But, um, like I said, that's, a, that's probably the most disappointing loss I've, I've had since I've been here in terms of. 
you know, the way we went about it um, and it's something I need to assess. Dave? I guess part of the news is people, it just was so good in the first half. And, it, it, you know, just as a neutral watching, mm. that looked like a really terrific first half performance. So mm. the contrast is what was, was amusing from, from my perspective. Yeah, um, but like I said, that's, um, that's a real sort of stark reminder of what elite sport's about, that at the core of it is it's competitive. And if you're not competitive, it doesn't matter how good you are uh, or how good you think you are, you're going to trip up, you know. And um, we, didn't, we didn't do the things that, you know, aside from the football, we didn't do the things that we've kind of prided ourselves on um, to get to the position we're in. Dave? It's unprecedented to hear you talk like this about the team. Have you sort of said this to them in the dressing room? How, how do you deal with that in the heat of the moment? Yeah, no, like the, my feedback's always, um, you know, what I what I believe. Um, I don't hide things. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that the players are disappointed, but I, I don't really care about that. They should be disappointed. Um, the supporters will be disappointed. I'm disappointed. But I want them to understand disappointment is not about losing a game of football because that happens. The disappointment comes from us not doing, you know, the very basics of what's expected um, when you're, you know, at the highest level from a competitive standpoint. Final one at the back, please. I mean, look, it's not a couple of positive results, you know, it was five wins. I mean, like, let's just keep things in perspective here. And I, I, I understand the extremes of what we do. What I'm saying is that we didn't do the basics of everything we've done to get to this point, good, bad or otherwise. So even, you know, when we, you know, we didn't win at Newcastle, but we played it well and we fought hard to the last second to try and win that game of football. We didn't do that today. And every time we've played, that's been an element of our game where I felt that was in. I didn't see that today. So why has that happened? The reasons, well, we can go into a million, you know, and, and um, sort of aspects of it. And in the cold light of day, um, there may be some logic to it and it may even be what you're saying. Again, for me, that's irrelevant. It's for me to address and fix uh, the responsibility falls at my feet and that's what I need to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat>